Alright you guys, what is going on and welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing an install on the BRZ that I have been itching to do since I bought the car because this is such a critical install, an important install that I think every car out there should have and that's going to be a dash cam. So as you guys know, well for the early subscribers of the channel, you know that I have a Blackview DR750 dash cam in the STI. Uh, we also have one in the Girlfriends Impreza. They're both awesome dash cams. They're two-way channel, 1080p, like 30 and 60 frames per second. They work awesome. Um, dash cams, are, they're just important because I mean, for insurance reasons, obviously, if you get rear-ended, someone hits you or anything like that, you have it all on footage, so it's gonna make the insurance claim a lot easier. You can also capture some really weird things on dash cams. So, Blackview was nice enough to send over their DR750 two-channel dash cam like we have in the STI, but this is their new model with the LTE version, which has like 4G, so that way you can easily just throw a SIM card in the dash cam if you want. It'll upload everything to the cloud, so that way you're not having to go back into the dash cam, pull out the memory card, pull it onto a computer if you need to do that. This way it'll give you easy access to be able to pull your videos like almost instantaneously whenever you need to. So it's gonna be awesome to get this thing in. They were also nice enough to send over their battery pack for us to throw in the BRZ as well, so that way we can enable the parking feature of the dash cam so that way the dash cam will continue to run when the vehicle is parked and uh, it won't drain or kill the battery of the car itself which is nice because in the STI we run that mini battery and that thing would drain so quick so let's crack into both of these boxes we'll see what each one came with we'll get the dash cam installed on the BRZ we'll take the BRZ out for a test drive we will see some of the footage that we get back from this dash cam because I am pumped and hyped to get this thing in the car all right, you guys, so let's start with the dash cam itself. So this is their DR750 two-channel LTE 4G version uh, that we're gonna be throwing in the BRZ. Now, one thing that I've always liked about Blackview is the packaging. It's always packed rel like very nicely. As you guys can see, everything has its own little cardboard inlays. So we got our front dash cam, which is this larger guy here. If I can get it out. Ugh. We have our front dash cam, and then we have our rear dash cam right here. So those are both of our dash cams. Super, super small, so that way we're able to fit them in the car nicely. And then we've got all of the wiring and accessories in here, I believe. So we got a lot of good stuff here. This is going to be the cable to connect the rear dash cam up to the front dash cam. So we're gonna be running all of this above the headliner in the car and I'll show you guys the routing that I'm gonna be doing. If you guys needed like a specific install guide for the STI or the WRX, I will definitely link that video so that way you guys can check that out and see the routing for that one as well. Now, if you are not using the dedicated battery backup like I am, you do get a 12 volt charger, so that way you can just plug it into any cigarette lighter that you have laying around. And then in this extra little bag, woo, we got lots of good stuff here. So we have our SD card for the dash cam itself, it's 64 gigabyte. We have a little tool to be able to get it in and out. I still, you know, they still give this, which is nice. It's just like a little uh, SD card reader. Got a whole bunch of clips for the wires and then a backup 3M tape if you ever have to pull these guys off. And then lastly, a little tool to be able to tuck the wiring in. So this is what you get with the dash cam. Uh, pretty self-explanatory to install it. Uh, let's crack into that battery bank. We'll see what that comes with and then uh, we'll get going on this stuff. Now, something that I really like about the Blackview dash cam as opposed to a lot of the other ones out there is these use Sony sensors, which you guys know I'm big into cameras, photography and videography, that kind of stuff. So using a Sony sensor in a dash cam is awesome because you get really good low light you get really good video and it's just it's all around a good sensor sony makes really good cameras granted i shoot with canon uh, sony is still one of the best out there so now that we've kind of gone over the dash cam stuff we can set all this to the side just a little bit and let's get the actual like battery pack out this thing is a lot bigger than i thought it was um, so if this is something that you're considering doing keep in mind that this is quite the large battery but it is, uh, it'll work, so it comes with this like nice little mounting bracket so you can mount this bracket somewhere. I'm probably gonna mount this in the glove box just so it's out of the way. You just tuck the battery in there and then it stays nice and, nice and tucked off in the corner. Now for wiring with the battery pack, it seems to come with another 12 volt charger, which is, it makes things easy because that just means that we don't have to hardwire anything into the car. Um, but it looks like we can if we wanted to. So we have some double-sided Velcro for that bracket to be able to mount that. Also comes with the screws. I'm gonna be using the screws to keep everything mounted in place. And then lastly, it does come with a 12 volt charger with the plug to be able to power the battery pack and keep that charged. 
So this other little plug that looks like a cigarette lighter, this is going to be the power source for the actual dash cam. So you're just gonna end up plugging those two pieces in together. This will plug into the battery pack and then go to the dash cam. This one will go from your cigarette lighter into the battery pack and keep the battery pack charged. So now that we've kind of gone over all the components of the dash cam, let's get it installed on the BRZ. Let's go drive the car around a little bit after we get it installed and I will show you guys the footage that this thing puts out because it is pretty crisp and pretty clean. Because you guys know, clean footage is what I like. Okay, so the game plan to get this thing installed is the bigger camera I'm gonna put right up here behind the mirror in the front and then the smaller one I'll probably just center back here in the back. Now the BRZ is a little bit of a tight car to uh, work in, but it is not too bad. So on the STI, we did have the home link compass mirror set up. So that way we're able to hide the, hide the wires behind that little cover. Um, so we are gonna have a little bit of an exposed wire up there, but I'm not too concerned about it, but everything else will be ran up in the headliner. So it'll be a super clean and Install. So I'm probably just gonna time lapse me getting this in. After I get it all installed, I'll walk you guys kind of through where I routed all the wires so that way you guys are able to get the same result if you are looking to do this as well. But uh, let's get this thing installed and then uh, go test it out. All right, you guys, so I figured this would be a good spot to show you guys kind of what's going on in here. So for the most part, for the rear camera, I've got the wiring going up underneath the headliner, up on the roof, and then going up this main A to C pillar on the car. Now up inside of the car, like I said, I have all those main wires running up through the, or I have the one main wire going from the rear dash cam to the front dash cam, going up through that A to C pillar. And then once we got to that midpoint, it crosses over and then goes down to the front camera right up there. Now the rest of the wires, which is the power wire for that top camera, comes down this A pillar and then goes down here. Now you can pull this little side panel trim piece off over here in the corner, and that'll give you access to get down into the glove box area. So now that I'm in the glove box area, as you can see, we have our one power cord kind of hanging out right there. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get this knocked out. After I get this little area put together and I get it all buttoned up and looking nice, I'll show you guys kind of the setup that I have for this power bank and where all of my wires are ran. But so far, so good. Let's wrap up getting this thing done. got the battery pack installed as you can see right down there I just have it on the back side of the glove box I need to clean up the wiring just a little bit more in there but uh it is a it's not too bad of a fit in there like you can still fit your car manual in there it just uh it's just a little bit of a tight fit but dash cams all wired up we have the front dash cam up there done we have all the wiring tucked nicely you cannot see any of the wiring inside of the car so now that we have the dash cam all wired in and set up in the car uh, I need to grab my phone, we'll get the dash cam set up, I'll walk you guys through how to pair it real quick, and uh, view all the cameras on your phone, and then we'll go drive the car, and let's see if we can capture some weird stuff on these dash cams. Uh, I'm assuming the quality of this one is going to be near the same as my DR750 in the STI, but the STI obviously doesn't have the feature of being able to put a SIM card inside of the dash cam and have uh, the 4G LTE GPS. Um, extra features. I mean, the STI does have GPS, but it uses it off of my phone rather than using like the cloud. So the cloud's kind of a cool feature to be able to have. You just gotta pop a SIM card in there in the box. They do give you an entire instruction manual on how to set up the SIM card in the dash cam. But let me grab my phone. Let's connect to this dash cam and uh, get it set up. And then we'll go drive around and we'll get some cool footage. All right, you guys, so I just got the camera set up on my phone using the app. If you don't know how to do it, just go through the instruction guide. It's extremely simple. You essentially just turn on Bluetooth on the dash cam, connect it to your phone via Bluetooth, and then it pulls up all your camera stuff. You can set like units if you want kilometers per hour, miles per hour, it's cool stuff. Um, but you can go in there, you can see like saved files. And uh, if you need to pull up like a dash cam video in an instant, you can. Black right. you're safe As you can see, kind of cool. Kind of neat. I like these dash cams. Blackview makes really good dash cams. Uh, you can go to a live view also if you have the parking sensors like I do. So pretty cool stuff. You can swap over to the rear camera. You can view that one as well. Um, it's a good idea to adjust the cameras as needed just to make sure that you're able to see everything. But let's go drive around and see what the footage actually looks like coming out of this DR750 LTE. Um, I'll probably end up buying a SIM card for it at some point just so I can use the cloud. Just because it is kind of cool to use. And uh, SIM, I actually might have some SIM cards laying around, so I might try throwing one in there later today. But let's go drive around. Let's see the footage that this dash cam puts out because I am stoked.
So there you have it, you guys. Blackview dash cam installed in the BRZ footage. Looks crisp, quality, and uh, I enjoy being a, oh man, dude, something just flew into my eye. Ugh. Uh, yo, is this like an eyelash? What is in my eye? But I enjoy having the capability of being able to view the videos on my phone also. If you ever get into an accident, it's really easy just to download, save that video, send it over to your insurance right on the spot uh, just to get the ball rolling on things. Plus, it's nice to be able just to have the extra security of having a dash cam, especially with the parking feature that this one does. Highly recommend it if you like live in a city or anything like that, because I know some of you guys live up in like Seattle, some of the bigger cities around the US as well and across the world. And if you're parking your car out on the street, someone hits your car, at least you have that footage. Uh, maybe you'll get a license plate in there so you can at least make an insurance claim. But dash cams, highly recommended by myself and for anyone else out there who wants to use one. Um, I will link it down below. This is the 4G LTE version. I don't think it's available for order yet in the US, but I'll link below the LTE one if you want to pre-order it and use that SIM card, or if you want to use the older 1080p one also, I will link that one down below too. So once again, thank you to Blackview for sending out their dash cam to us to throw in the BRZ, take a look at review and uh, show you guys the cool features of it. But with that, that's all I got for you guys on this one. If you like the video, you know what to do. Go ahead, hit that thumbs up, turn it blue, like the emblems on the Subaru. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit your boy up one of these corners. No idea which one I'll put it in quite yet. But with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies.